Happy Friday, y'all. Y'all look at me mess on my hair, honey. It is really technical difficulty Friday. Please forgive me, y'all. I am late, and I'm usually not late on my show. Um, but for some reason, my stream yard is just not connecting. So I just decided to go live, and y'all know I'm truth be told. So I don't let nothing like that sweat me. So I'm going to invite the lovely guest on here today. So y'all just hang tight as I get her on here, y'all. She is definitely full of energy. She is definitely like excited to chat with her tonight. Honey, it's definitely been one of them days for me, I'm telling you. Like, it don't even have nothing to do with the show. It's just, I don't know, you know, stuff, there's always something going on. And when you think something good is coming, then it's always something else that comes in the way, so just been one of them days for me and i don't know what i'm doing see that's why i'm be going live on here hold on y'all let me figure this out <laughs> i'm gonna figure it out just give me a minute lord let's see all right boo there we go hey boo boo <laughs> Let me get you on here. How are you doing? How are you doing? I don't know what is going on with just everything tonight. My stuff is not even letting my person look. See? See? We gonna get it? Girl, I'm gonna get it. I promise I'm gonna get it. Let me see. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm. It is okay. <laughs> Girl. Ooh, Lord Jesus, help me. Why won't he do it? Yes, he will. I'm glad it's other ways, but wow. <laughs> wow. I just want to thank I you. Say. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. First of all, I already know what type of chick I'm dealing with. I was already scoping you before I asked you to come on the show. I am a fan. I love your show. I've been watching you um, for a while. I love your energy. Um, so I just love how you demonstrate for Black people to start a business, um, show consistency through that business. So it's okay. So thank you. <laughs> you. You welcome. Listen, I was like, hold up. I was here 15 minutes early. I'm not gonna do this. I was actually about to be 30 minutes. I was, I was gonna be sitting there. But baby, I was like, oh, but you know what? God is good. Yes. And it's always another, you know, if you can't get through the door, climb through the window. <laughs> I know that's right, boo. That's how I feel. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna take up a lot of your time today. I just wanna say thank you. And hello, 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 hello. This is episode number 45 with Truth Be Told Podcast. I'm your host, Britt. Y'all, we got a good one today. I'm so excited to have. Y'all see the beautiful face on here, right? She's going to get on here. She's going to let us know. Pillow Talk with the T Podcast is in the building. How you doing today, boo? I am doing amazing. I'm definitely grateful. Doing amazing. I'm doing good. I can't complain. God is amazing. He he definitely is amazing. You know, it's funny that before I even had the podcast today, girl, a lot been going on with me today anyway. Mm. So I just was like, oh my gosh. And I think it's sometimes our attitude and how we perceive things and it just makes the day better. So, yes. so thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. So tell so us a little bit more about yourself, boo. Tell us why. First of all, just um, I'm, I'm excited that I have you on the show today. Um, I think your your content and everything you talk about is just really real life conversation. Um, the energy is always amazing. Uh, so let us know a little bit more about Pillow Talk and what made you name your podcast Pillow Talk with the Tea. Well, um, so basically, Pillow Talk with the Tea is a candid, unguarded. The individual's truth uh, with the with so much tea of uncomfortable conversations, 
no longer sweeping it under the rug. And we're talking about that big ass pink, pink ass elephant in the room. <laughs> we are going to get it there because I feel like I, I named it that because um, I feel like, you know, the best conversations is when you having that vulnerability um, pillow talk, you know, when you, the yes. space is comfortable, the space is comfortable, the space is set for you, the environment is comfortable, and you feel like it's a safe place for you to be able to share, express, and do everything that you need to do to be able to get whatever's on your chest, whatever's on your mind, and whatever you're feeling to end up getting clarity and confirmation. You're right. You're right. You're definitely right. I, I love how you started off saying a safe, uh, a safe place. Sometimes mm -hmm. we don't really always feel like we have that. You know, it's two black women. I say that. You know, we always are meant to be strong. And even though our men are the providers, are supposed to stand in front and be there for us, it's not always the case. That's absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. It's definitely. So I just, I just was like, you know, when I seen that you was having, you know, those candid conversations and those uncomfortable conversations, I was like, we need to talk about that tonight. Oh, <laughs> um, I mean, for real, because when I think of that, what is one of those conversations that you can even bring to the conversation that we sweep under the rug today that you can think of right now that's really big going on? You know, it's 2022. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going into the holiday season. Um, it's getting cold, uh, and depending on where you at, <laughs> <laughs> so you know you're gonna be snuggled up beside somebody. Absolutely, <laughs> and I'm planning it too. <laughs> I know that's right. We all need love. I really do believe that. I think everybody is, you know, supposed to love and be with somebody. You know, God made Adam and Eve. So we ain't supposed to be doing this thing alone. And even when we do, you know, it's okay to cuddle up with somebody every mm -hmm. now and then. <laughs> Rhonda said, yes, me too, honey. <laughs> hey, hey, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, let us know some, when, when you think of a conversation, especially right now, you know, 2022, what is something that comes to mind for you? Oh, they say it again because you went out. I said, when you think of a conversation, like right now in 2022, you know, it's the mm -hmm. end of the year. What is something that you can think of that's a candid, uncomfortable conversation that, that you could talk about with us tonight? Oh, I would say in regards, knowing the fact that it's going to the, it's the basically, we got what? We got three, oh, less than three months in this year. Um, yes. I would say for... I would say, um, let's see. What comes to me is, do you really basically inspire relationships? Do you want to take on the you? Do you want to take in what you have in twenty twenty two into twenty twenty three? Are we are we letting go? Or are we letting God? Like at the end of the day. What we doing? And so my thing, that'll be a conversation of, are we going into the new season with the renew, revival, or we we, we bringing the old into the new? So that's a good candid conversation. I love that you're talking about that because in on my podcast, I deal with mental health. I deal with healing the inner child. I deal with facing the future and trying to be you know, a better person for yourself, you know, and like Rhonda said, we trying to get rid, not Rhonda, you know, um, it looks like uh, Tay said we trying to get rid of those pillows. I, I feel it. I feel Tay. You know, we, we are growing up, you know, all of us, we not getting younger, okay? So all, some of the pillows, they need to be gone. You know, some of the, some of the stuff we dealing with, especially as black women, and I got to say a black woman because that's what I am. You know, um, some of those things that we're dealing with, it's, it's time to level up and stop dimming our light. You hear me? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
And that, that just, that's just one candid conversation in regards to um, just life in general. Now, if you want to go into more of an in-depth, because you know me, if you listen to my show, you know I talk about love, sex, relationships, and life. So I want you to go there. My, we can go there. We talk my, yeah, we talk. We want to talk about sex. Let me tell you. I would say the candid conversation that you should anyone should have you with a partner. You got a situation, or if you just end up just doing your thing. Listen, ask yourself: Do you want to climax next year, or do you want to stay where you at? <laughs> I want to do both. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I swear I do. Because like Rhonda said, I, Rhonda said I never want to dim my light. I let nobody do that ever. ever um, that, that's, that's, that's good advice, Rhonda. You made me go back a little bit because I'm, I haven't always been in that place. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still learning and loving on Brittany, even as a married woman. You know, sometimes I still feel like I dim my light. You yeah. know, and I tell him real quick, you know, we marry, I love you to death, but you got to keep me, you know. Um, make sure you still dating me. Make sure you realize that we ain't young and deep. Them, them uncomfortable conversations that you don't want to have, you know. <laughs> and, but those are uncomfortable conversations you don't want to have, but it's, it's mandatory to have because you got to realize when you are in a relationship, if, even if you're a person that believes in marriage or or you are married, you got to realize that your partner is not who your partner was the year before. And if you was also if you also married for uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, your partner is not the same person who walked down the aisle or stood at the aisle waiting for you. So you person is in this new year. Who this person that you now laying next to? Because people think you can never know of every about a person why is that oh, okay. you want to know why because every year that person believes in elevation involving and become and getting more closer into tapping into be a new better version and person of themselves they're not going to be who they was last year so now you got to get to know this man now you got to get to know this woman and now you got to get to know they likes and dislikes you're right. You're right. Have you ever been in a situation like, you know, you said it's 2022. Um, the audience said we got two months. I mean, you might as well say October is done. Yeah, uh, October. <laughs> yeah, you might as well be getting ready for them turkeys and Christmas time. Well, because <laughs> you know they up in the stores. You know they already got the Christmas decorations up. So, you know, for, for, in a minute, they're going to have the New Year stuff up. So it's we're constantly, like you said, as a world, we're always evolving. Um, what what is something that you're dealing with not right now as an uncomfortable, candid conversation that you would like to share, or you know, or something that 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 maybe your audience has shared with you? Um, mm. Besides what we talked about, because as far as that climax, we can go back to that because I think that's very important. <laughs> My husband told me, listen, my husband told me, boo, he said, I have to give him, like, he, he wants sex every day. Like, he, he, and if, if he, can, if he can have it every day, and I guess I'm, that's the oldness in me, because sometimes I just don't want to do it. I'm going off of how I feel. You know, if you don't piss me off, or my money ain't, you ain't giving me enough money, or, look, I'm just talking, but I'm being real. See? Listen, I'm going to tell you from a woman to another woman, this is even with my partners. My thing is, I don't care if we mad at each other. I don't care if he pissed me off. I don't care if whatever happened, we do not allow th that energy to go into the bedroom. We are not intertwining that energy. So no. I should get the booty anyway, right? Get the booty anyway, because nine times out of ten, let me tell you what's going to happen. You going to feel better he going to feel better, and because you made him feel better, he going to give you whatever it is that you probably was complaining about anyway. <laughs> You're right. My cousin used to tell me that all the time. She'd be mad as hell at her husband. But, be, I mean, she's sucking him down. You hear me? Like, she still, because she would say that's, that was her sexual appetite. You know, some women, they have a big sexual appetite, and there's nothing wrong with that. You just got to know the love language and what the lady really wants. 
you yeah. know. But I think that sometimes us ladies, like uh, Rhonda said, she never dims her light. Have you ever dimmed your light? Can we talk oh. about that a little bit? Hell no. I'm not dimming my light nobody. It's not happening. <laughs> And when it, I'm not going to sit there and say that it tried to happen either if I was in a relationship with a, a, a guy or even if I started a friendship with someone, I'm not going to say that I didn't feel that trying to happen or was about to transpire when I felt that. I'm like, no, I'm not right. that about to happen. You, at the end of the day, I pride myself to be around like-minded people. Yes. In the same mindset. If we're going in the same, our, our plans don't have to be the same, but we're going in the same journey. We're about our bullshit. We're about our business. We're about taking care of our business. We're about doing the damn thing and doing what we need to do. But when I feel like if you trying to take them my right because I am doing a damn thing, or you need my right to reflame yours, come on, girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> Listen, I can help you. I can guide you. Like they say, you could take the horse and to the um, take the water, but you can't make them drink. But at the end of the day, you're not about to do them mines. It's not happening. Oh, I yeah. believe you. I'm a block and delete queen. I don't care family members, friends, associates, coworkers. I can come into work, see your ass, and got you blocked, and I don't give a damn. It's funny, Rhonda said that. She said even with family. She was yes. saying that as you were saying it, you know, friends, relationships, like you said, we're in the fourth quarter of the year. We are growing. So as far as all of that, trying to be complacent, I mean, even in a marriage, like I tell, you know, I love my husband. We are growing both together. We don't have to like the same stuff, but we do have to grow in the same type of, okay, what you got going on? Because yeah. I, I still want to do this. I still need this. I still want this, you know, and I still have to make sure that you still getting what you need as well, you know, because it's a partnership. Uh, when we talk about the single ladies and the single men and just people in general, as far as those candid and uncomfortable conversations, what's something else as far as because. I haven't been single in a while. And I always tell my husband, I'm going to be real with you, boo. I say, if, if, if this ever don't work, I will never get married again. You hear me? Like, I know I'm young, but really? no, I'm going to have fun. I've always been with somebody since I was 14. Girl, I'm 35. I should have been somewhere with them legs open. I was doing them legs open, but them legs wasn't open enough. You know? <laughs> So what is something that you can relate to? And I don't even know if you're single right now, so I ain't even trying to put you on the spot like that, okay? <laughs> It's, listen, it's not putting me in a spot. First of all, anybody who followed me, who listens to me, that joins my life or listens to my podcast, and even recently, they know I'm poly. I'm right. not. Single. I have two partners. Right. Oh, my sister would love you, boo. Because <laughs> she believes in that. She, you know, it depends on what you believe in. Some people look at it like, whoa. You know, um, I was looking at that when I first started looking at you. This was just recent because somebody was like, have you talked the pillow with, you know, pillow with the tea? Like, pillow talk with the tea. She hurt just the energy. You know, I'm really, like you said, love being around like-minded people. And my cousin, shout out to Sean, talking about he's single out here. He a good one, too. Because <laughs> she already taken. She got two. <laughs> I'm always trying to hook somebody up. But I I <laughs> um, We're not taking on the third, not right now. <laughs> I know that's right. How did you get in that situation as far as, and I'm just telling, you know, letting the audience, my audience, be um, optimistic about it. I, if you don't mind sharing, how did that come into play and what made you and your partners get comfortable with that type of relationship? So I would say um, early, in my early stages of my college years, I did, um, I was in a poly relationship, but I wasn't the, the head of it. Mm -hmm. um, but I did like it. But at some point in a different time of my life, I ended up basically um, saying, no, it's not for me. And then I started thinking about what everybody else would think. Right. Now at 40, 
Hey. Hey. Well, you look good. <laughs> you you live life. You you experience so many things. You go through so many things. You start to really now tap into what do you really want as a person and not giving a fuck about what everybody or anybody around you say, what they think, because it's your life. It's right. you. You right. only have your, you got one life to live. It's your life. And at the end of the day, you cannot live it for anybody else, not even your children. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, so I sat there and said, you know what? Um, with my first partner, he's my primary. I was like, um, yeah, you know, I, I think it's best for me to end up want to open this dynamic of relationship to be a poly. Which the thing is, I knew he was down for it because we had a previous conversation. He right. had to ask, even when we was friends, and he was like, yeah, I think that would be a good fit for you because you have so much love to give. And it's like sometimes some people could be so overly intimidated about how much love I have to give to that person. Some people don't know how to take it. They don't That's know how true. to receive it. They don't, they, it's like, oh, it's too much. It's overwhelming. Oh, my God, no. So I realized even, and then I started thinking, I'm like, you know what? That's weird because even when I was in previous relationships, I even had previous partners who said that same thing to me. And me, when I love, I love heart. When I give, yes. I give heart. So yes. I'm like, you know what? Matter of fact, he's okay with this. He's open. I knew this already said we about to cross this line. If anybody I know to start this with, it would be him because he would be confident. He would be secure. He would be okay. He would be understanding. He would be open. I love it. So from then, that's when I end up saying, okay, we're going to do this. So he's like, Whatever. he's like, listen, I'm with you. I'm following you on this part. Like, and from that part, it this big. Now, my second part, I was talking to him. A year ago, but me and him, you know, we end up going our separate ways, but we did reunite it. He's right. not he's not used to this. This is new to him. Right. However, because our energy and our vibe and the fact that we are so fucking irresistible to one another, <laughs> he's like, I'm going to just, I'm going to just be open and understand it. He's like, This is something I probably wouldn't do the old me, but because now I'm getting older. And I understand that more of an understanding to life now. And I have to think about things that I probably wouldn't have thought about before. And he said, also, he was like, I want to be with you. So right. this is what it is. I got to take to be with you. I want to be with you. I love it. I love how, you know, I'm in the 40s club tonight because the comments is rolling. Everybody, 40, 41. Shout out to all y'all. I ain't got there yet. But I'm just shout out. <laughs> I love the maturity about it. Not saying like, oh, we old and we crawl up. It's just that we demand a different type of respect the older you get. You, you know, you're not the young you anymore. Mm -hmm. You expect certain things and this is what you're going to take. And either this, you're going to get with it or you ain't going to get with it. And I it sounds like you're leading with love when it comes to your relationship. You know, actually, and the people, yeah, the people that's actually uh, rocking with you, you know, that's a big thing, especially the guy that's not even, you know, this is a different world for him, you know, mm -hmm. and that says a lot about you. <laughs> it definitely does. And, and in 2022, and the thing is, I don't want people in the, because a lot of people, when they sit there and have polyamory and polyamorous is two separate things. Explain it to the audience. Explain so it to basically, po polyam polyamory is basically you are end up being with multiple partners and you are basically um, in an intimate relationship with multiple partners but also everybody that's in the dynamic, they have to be on one accord and to agree. And that's just like even when I, when your brother came and I said We're, we are not taking additional partners. And, and, <laughs> of course, before my second one came in, my first one had to agree. Right, right. Because we, we, we put standards. Is there standards? There's understanding. Um, there's there's a set thing here. It's not some bullshit that we just doing and crazy shit. Like right. And Polly Amory, um, Amory is um, 
um, is where basically where the men, because see me, I'm the lead of the situation. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't never see a lot, and I'm just being real with you. You know, this truth be told, I've seen it. I've seen these type of relationships, but when you see a woman and you got, you know, two guys, it's just, it's more intriguing. Like, I'm trying not to sit here and feed into <laughs> what you're saying. Well, you know, be respectful because I'm just like, wow, I'm very respectful of the fact that, damn, you see, she's showing like she got two niggas, like, you know, and they okay with it. They ain't like you over here, you hiding one, you sliding out, doing stuff with the other one, you know, and, and most of the time, you see, see, females, we can't do that. I don't know, I'm not going to say that because I do, I know some partners that have two females in the group and they're okay with that as well. But I don't see this a lot, so so I respect it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so basically, so polyamorous is basically multiple partners um, that's engaging into romantic intimacy and relationships. Now, poly um, polygamy is basically every there's a head of a person is a guy, or even if it's a woman, doesn't matter. But they are married in a ceremonial way. Okay. So it's a different. Now I'm not trying to cross over that, but I can't say that. It's a, you know, I'm just happy where I'm at and I'm content where I'm at. But other than that, um, would you do that? Would you? Would you be open to that? Absolutely, absolutely definitely would be um open to even just like what your brother says. Coca, it's levels to poly. It's definitely yeah. it's multiple levels to poly because the thing is, it's about. It's about what fits you, the individual, the person, the, the, the community of who the people that you're with. So it's just not only just, you know, just you and, um, you know, you got these romantic partners and then you the head and you're just not agreeing with what they're saying. you just taking on everything. No. I had to sit here and say, hey, babe, you know, I'm thinking about this person. I want to talk to him, blah, blah, blah. And you know, it came up that the fact that we and me have started talking. We and then the thing is, I'm open and honest and very blunt with both of them. Right. There's no secrets. No. Secrets. And see, like you said, a lot of people can't take that. It's the mindset. You, yes. You said it very clearly. Like a lot, just expanding your mindset to think outside the norm of a man and a woman, or a woman. Now it's women and women, and now it's man and woman and woman and it's just so like I said it's what is levels like cuz that's my cousin he was like it's levels to the poly you know it, it definitely is um is there anything else that you would like to share when it comes to to that and anybody that's interested in that what would you say to them before they even decided to go that way I would say make sure this is something you want mm -hmm. Make sure this is something you want. Make sure this is something if you if you do decide to go into it, go into it being open and understanding. Um, and if you are a jealous person, you are stingy. It's okay because those emotions are human emotions. Right. Both of my partners are stingy. Trust I'm only stingy of that, honey. <laughs> Shit, I would say definitely. Um, and then then do your research. Do research. To get more of a clarity and understanding and see and then also see what dynamic fits you. You know what I'm saying? Because just like again, there's different levels to it. It's different like levels to polyamorous and it's different levels of polyamory. Right. So you have to just understand which one fits best for you. Um, because even with my second partner, he has friends who are in, you know, polyamorous and polygamy relationships. And he has a friend that's basically married, but she has three boyfriends. Wow. And he had to be open to that because that was probably too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, men, they get jealous now. They can't think about it's different when they go out and they do their thing and it's okay. I'm doing this and doing that. But then when they boom boom on it, like, you know, that just be a whole, like you said, the mindset. You be like, oh, my God, I'm just thinking of somebody else tapping that ass, you know. Everybody can't deal with that. <laughs> and then, um, see, and then let's, let's put it like this, too, because the first thing when people hear about polygamy and polyamory, they automatically go towards sex. It don't always have to be about sex because there is people who are in um, 
you know, in a polyamorous relationship, and that's poly, and they don't have sex with each partner. It's an intimate, it's an intimate situation. It's about just end up being connected in that type of soulful relationship with people. Like I said, and just like your brother said, it's different levels. You can't cross to having sex with them, or right. you have an understanding. You start the relationship that it may be something else besides just not having sex, or something else besides just sex. So, but my thing is, absolutely, I'm very intimate with both of our partners. And not only that, when I'm whoever I'm with, that's the person that has my full attention. That's right, right. Because they, because you're being respectful of their time, letting them know, like, hey, like you said, it's levels, it's rules, or or do you even use the word rules? It's rules, or it's just policies. <laughs> <laughs> We don't Girl. even use the word policy or rules. What we use the word, uh, the word we do use is understanding and respect. Right. And I love that. I, I think that's a, I think today where we're at, it don't matter what type of relationship it is. Honesty and respect is, is the number one thing to lead with, period. When we lead with honesty and respect, we get so much accomplished and communication can just be be great because I know me and my husband sometimes he tell me she, I don't want to hear it. you know but he a girl and I'm, I'm gonna be honest because I get jealous I'm not, I don't even want to say I get jealous I just my feelings will hurt my feelings he's probably about the only one and he know that can hurt my feelings everybody else I'll be like I don't care I don't care but if he say it or he tell me I'll be like damn really that's really how you feel and I know he meant that because he, he don't talk a lot anyway yeah <laughs> But, you yeah. know, if there's something else, girl, I got to ask you another. Give me one more. Give me one more to leave with before we go. Um, this podcast, truth be told, we talk about healing. We talk about um, the little girl. If, if you could talk to the little girl that you were 20 years mm. ago, what is it something that you could tell her today? You know, and, and especially like the world we live in and, and everything that's going on, what would you say to her today? I would say, um, be patient with yourself. Be patient. Um, everything will be all right. Um, you may not understand everything, but you will get to understand stand it. And and just and just trust trust yourself. Trust yourself, trust your gut and and believe in it and know that it's, it's, it's good. It's going to be okay. I love that. You know, you're talking to me today. Um, I <laughs> needed to hear that. <laughs> I needed to hear that, boo. Before we go, though, I'm not going to take up no more of your time. I know it's Friday. I don't know what you got going Listen, on. Listen, I'm here. I'm here as whatever. The people there, they like, yes, give us more. <laughs> <laughs> let us know, boo. Please let us know where they can find y'all at. Y'all, her energy is amazing. Let them know where you are located at on social media. So basically, you guys can find me everywhere. I'm on every single podcast plat streaming platform, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Amazon Music, um, Spotify, Google Podcasts, everywhere. Um, I also have my YouTube channel, which you go to Pillow Talk with the T. Um, on YouTube, so please go subscribe, and then not only that, um, my website is definitely coming up. I'm working on that now. Your girl just been exhausted in the background. Hey, it's coming. Yes, not only that, I have so much more that's basically in store that I'm working on, because Pillow Talk with the Tea is just not a podcast, it's a brand. It's an entity right. brand. The podcast is just the foundation. Right, right. But all the, the entities and levels of what it's about to come in store. So your girl got a sex toy line coming up, coming out. Oh, I'm excited about that. Let me put my notifications on. <laughs> yes. I love and, that. Yeah, and there's so much other stuff that I, I have so much other stuff I'm working on. Some of my listeners do um know that a lot of stuff that I have coming up. And I'm also a person, I don't really like to talk too much about it, but, you know, knowing the fact that my, my listeners are my supporters and hey. they've been rocking with me from the beginning, so I definitely don't mind sharing with them. 
And so, but yeah, it's like so much to, like I said, just follow your girls, put your notifications on. You just don't know what I'm going to end up doing, where I'm going to end up popping up. And I also have some appearances coming up soon. Then this new year, I have some live podcast appearances coming up in this new year. It, it's, a, it's amazing. Like I said, I can't complain. Girl, God ain't done with you yet. Keep doing what you're doing. I know he's not. <laughs> She's like, you ain't telling me nothing. I don't already know, boo. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I, I just love how make sure he us. as much as he using me, I just need to make sure mental know I got to just take a break sometimes. Like, it just, oh. But yeah, but I like I like him to use me as much as he can and then like pour into people and pour into the world. And then even if it's like five, six, seven months, I'm just busting my ass. And then when that the end of that block or that journey or that level, before we go to the next one, me and him need to go to somebody's island and take a break and then come back. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Girl, I usually end with random questions, but you done gave me so much levels tonight that it's just like my random questions are just like, and ain't even really nothing to say. But what I can ask you mm -hmm. as, a, as a, a woman of color and a woman that respects herself and just everybody and leads with love. What is something that you can say also before we go to the women that I am very much supporting, that I root for every day of all colors? You know what I'm saying? I really root for us black women because I know we go through it. Um, I'm a black woman, but I want all of us to win. What is something that you can say as far as just pleasing us and making sure that we Make sure we put us first, because that's important. <laughs> oh, as I always say on my podcast, um, have, one, have standards, have boundaries, and do not fucking modify nobody. Um, <laughs> as much time as you put in for other people, put that same time in for you, because if you ain't no good for, your, um, for yourself, how can you be good for them? Um, sometimes it's okay to be selfish, Yes. It is okay. And don't let and don't let nobody tell you that it's not okay. Don't let nobody make you feel like you're doing something wrong. Because trust and believe you going today, you going tomorrow. They ask us will be all right and still we survive. <laughs> trust and believe. So listen, I would just say just keep pushing, keep motivating. You know, believe in yourself, know that you can do it and listen. And have that I don't give a fuck at to five because why should you give a fuck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she drops the mic. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, y'all, for listening to us today. Please make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to both of our podcasts. Y'all, I'm new. I think I'm coming up on a year in January. So I'm just, I'm, I'm loving meeting these like-minded people. So thank you. Thank you today, boo. And I'm going to sign out. This is episode number 45 with Truth Be Told podcast, candid and uncomfortable conversations with Pillow Talk with the T. Bye, y'all. <laughs>